How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Come join me for an early autumn short of chasing bass. Another bass on the homemade gun. I'm enjoying this little roller now with that um, ergonomic carbon wrapped handle. I think the extra resin on the handle's got the um, buoyancy almost neutral. It's got a lot of mass to it, but in the water you can move it like it is nothing. And it's nice and short, so the fish come a lot closer. Between the first bass I shot and this clip, it was about an hour and a half swim out and I hadn't seen very much in that time. And then here I glance over my shoulder and I see a pollock, a small shirley bass, clearly undersized, and then there off in the distance is one decent sized bass, but not coming anywhere near me. Oh, you get really confident when you see your target species before you've even hit the bottom. Your best bet is to just hit the bottom, act as though you haven't even seen them, and give it a little bit, and they'll come check you out. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and make an excuse for this, I had my gun too low and I shot over the top. I waited too long to take the shot and therefore I missed. It's a nice footage though. Let's take it slow, where you go I go to, and if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be, you know you'll have a good time. If you notice, because I don't know the area, I don't know where all the cracks are, so to make the most of my bottom time, I'm literally just hitting the bottom and waiting in one place, making as little movement as possible, maybe grunting every once in a while, and down after down, fish were coming in to have a look at me. Yeah, you can see a smallish pollock. He would have made 30 centimeters, but I mean, what's the point? And then there was a nice size mullet in the background, but he wasn't giving me the time of day. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. 
a ton of these small Sholey bursts around. Um, a good sign, good sight, but not worth shooting. He has a shawl of slightly better sized ones, but again, not really worth taking. Dive after dive, I've seen bass, but this dive here was definitely the highlight. <laughs> I hit the bottom, saw a couple, dropped a little bit lower, sat still, and a good dozen 50 to 60 centimeter bass came cruising in. <laughs> At this point, I knew there were plenty of bass in the area, and I was struggling to pick my second one, being very indecisive. <laughs> I'm also starting to realize if you're not actually shooting the fish and you're gonna let them check you out while you film them for instance they don't hang around that long they just come in have a look at you make sure you're not food and cruise off now i'm only allowed one more do i shoot one of these or do i wait for a bigger one or do i just get some footage um, 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 i need to shoot one more but also one footage it's time to do both. my GoPro died within 20 minutes of that. So I spent a little more time out on the reef and then made my way inshore. And on the way in I bumped into a shoal of bass sitting outside a ledge and this big one was inside the ledge. Rather skittish at first but I managed to get a shot in. And he came in at 3.4 kgs and 70 centimeters yeah can't wait to get out and look for some more very keen thanks for watching